guys played well after Tech kind of made a big push at the. I, I really do. I, I felt we played well. They uh, they did what we knew Tech would do. Uh, I think we got a couple lucky bounces. The third goal was a lucky bounce. Um, I'm going to say we deserve those bounces. I feel we played hard uh, against a really good team, and uh, I thought we, for the most part, kept it together. You know, obviously a, an own goal in the third period, you don't see that much, uh, but our guys stayed focused, didn't let it knock them uh, too much sideways, and uh, I thought all in all from start to finish, it was it was a pretty good game. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. And then to get, what did it mean to get the first one? Then? Is I think it was huge. I think it was huge. The first and the second goal. You know, obviously it was a, it was a, a great uh, a great play by Carp, and then obviously Matt Polkamp. He it was it was all, watching it on video. It was almost a perfect shot. Um, and then the five on three, huge execution there. So to go at first period that was 50-50 at best, if not a little bit tilted in their favor to come out of that two nothing ahead was huge. Yeah. And then two nothing, and three nothing. Right. Was no, going into third, up 3 nothing. Um, obviously you can't ask for much more than that. They score in a power play. We, we're not ready to execute right off the, the third period face-off. We take a penalty, which we deserved. They score in the power play. We come right back and score again. Um, you know, we, we've built up some resiliency over the past three years. We, we, we have. Uh, we've built up some mental toughness over the past three years. It, it showed itself in different ways this year. But I think this game right here was... Uh, was a little bit of what we've been through, and we didn't go up and down in terms of our emotions. Our execution was a little bit up and down at times, especially at the beginning of that third, but uh, I thought we stayed with it. Chris, there have been times this year where you played with the lead, obviously you struggled, we've talked about it all year long. In the third period, though, when they got you on your heels, got the goal, will you talk a little bit about this team? Getting that goal right away, kind of yeah. getting back on its feet and just well, finishing it off. It's huge. Uh, we were questioned, and deservedly so, uh, most of the year in terms of us playing with the lead because we, we proved we weren't very good at it. As far as I'm concerned, you don't get good at something until it becomes a habit, until it becomes something that you do all the time and you're experienced with it. And this was the first year we played with the lead a bunch. This, this weekend, uh, I think we played with the lead just fine, especially late in the game. Um, for us to, and, and, and John, I'm not saying much on the bench in those times. It's the older guys doing it. It's mm -hmm. Wallace, it's Carpenter, it's, it's Watala. Um, you know, th these are Burkle. These are the guys saying, stay with it. We're going to get that next one. We knew we were going to get a chance, get a couple of chances, and we did. And to, to execute and go right back four to one, and then... You know, ultimately, it's a, I feel bad for Michael Sullivan because nobody wants it more than Michael. And we win a draw clean. It ends up in our net. Now it's 4-2 to two again. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, I thought our guys stayed with it. And, and again, I credit the, the older guys and leadership. Those guys that have been through a bunch. You think about the playoff series. They've been through those seniors and juniors. They've been through a bunch. And you can't help but learn through those experiences. And will you talk a little bit? I mean, that has to be gratifying. And I hate to put the word in your mouth, but... Instead of a here we go moment, it's a here we go, Absolutely. and it's your seniors. It's not you having to push you, people you, to you, it. You show me a team, any sport in college, and it's not the seniors that are leading the way. And, um, I, I can say it. I've been critical of the seniors at times when we didn't execute under those situations. And absolutely proud of the seniors for what they did. We matched Wallace, Watala, and Moeller up against their best players all weekend long. We did it last weekend. And they did a great job. And, and again, through a little adversity, whether it's a goal against, a, a bad call, a call that goes against us, I should say, um, they stayed they stayed focused and they kept the team focused, better yet. Um, again, John, this has been a process for us. And it, I don't know if the word is gratifying or not. Maybe, maybe some things are paying off. We're learning. We're learning how to win at the level we want to win it. On the weekend, was this the best weekend you see? I, I would I would say for sure. Um, it took away time and space. I thought for the most part our play with the puck was was pretty good. Uh, you know, and again, you, I, we've been hard on, in particular, those three juniors with Marcus, Michael, and Connor, and and, and those three played pretty good. And then you get you look at a kid like Jake Slow gets an opportunity, a senior who's been through a bunch, from injury to whatever, to playing and, and play the way he played. Obviously, Ralph's contributed. I think it's a great point. The decor was as solid as, as they've been all year long over, over two games for sure. It was also nice to see uh, 
you get back on the winning side of face-offs as opposed to the last time? Yeah, I haven't looked at the face-offs. It was, it was about 50% after two periods. It was, I, I don't know, in the final. And, and it sure seemed like they took it to us on face-offs, and you got to credit them. Neville is outstanding. Uh, every, Blake Patil is an outstanding face-off guy. I know Kiro, number 10, really good. I, I don't know the fourth line as well, but it looked like 11 was taking a bunch of draws, the, 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 the bigger boy. But um, it was a, we, we, we got after a little bit today with, with our centermen and, and everybody, and we needed to be better on face-offs. The numbers say we were, that's good. Obviously, there are a lot of different parts of the game, but do you feel like when you guys are right, the, the defense score is, is a big a part of your game? Well, I, I think it has to be. You know, um, When we're right, we want to play the game north, but with that, there's going to be some opportunities to have to defend. And the way we defend, we don't necessarily say it's one against one. We say you know, we, we want to support each other in the defensive zone. Uh, for us to be right at the level we want to be right at, Kevin, we have to be defending. The, the one thing we felt we were able to do the last couple of years is defend. You know, we haven't been able to score much, but we've been able, able to defend. Now we can score, and at times the defending was, where's the defending that we've kind of established? Um, when we're putting it together, we're defending, and we're able to put five goals on the board. And it seemed like it's the three junior defensemen have gone, you guys have gone. I, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. And, and that's... That's not necessarily fair. It's a lot right. of pressure, but those guys have been through a bunch, uh, and you know, they won two road series as freshmen. They were at Joe Louis Arena as freshmen with with a two goal lead against a pretty darn good team. So, you can't help but learn through those experiences, and that's why we've been a little dis disappointed in terms of their their consistency over the course of the year. They've set the bar. This is this is the way they can play. We just have to find a way to be more consistent. What would you uh, play Moeller and Dalla against uh, the best guys? Last weekend I said to Andrew, uh, what do you think about playing against their top line with Bemidji? He said, I love it. Mm -hmm. And the way they handled that to me, it was it wasn't even a, it was a it was a no brainer this weekend. Uh, he took it. I don't even know if the word's challenge, but he he definitely looked at it that way. He's a real competitive kid. I know Matala can skate and shut down anybody, and, and, and you know we need Moeller contributing. And uh, I thought they did a great job. And, and Mel and I were kind of—it was the chess match at times, and he had to shuffle his lines up because they needed offense. But you know Wallace lined up against Blake Patillo a bunch, and Blake's a really good player. They did a great job. Well, what about Wallace's game? He's just a scrappy guy. You know, he, he's a face-off guy. He's a, he'll block shots. He'll, he's just a scrappy guy. You know, he, he's a. He's a guy that committed to Bowling Green under whatever circumstances, and he's and he's four years been a leader. He's got the respect of everyone in that room. He's a big time student. I just think that uh, for him to step up and say, "I want to play against the best players on the other team," I think that's a that's a tribute to him. Anything else? I, one more. I, I I know this win is fresh and probably haven't given a lot of thought to what's ahead, but can you just talk a little bit about the value to the program of? You've gotten to Grand Rapids. You've you know, won this first series, kind of. Yeah, you know, I think you, we we first of all we say we tied for third in a in a darn good league. We we earned home ice. We took advantage of that opportunity by earning a trip to Grand Rapids, which is our new Joe Lewis Arena. That's that used to be the catchphrase in the CCHA, and uh, and we feel we're playing pretty good hockey right now. So whoever it is we play against. We know if it's a Mankato, if it's a Ferris, if these are teams that either we've beaten before or we've tied and played well against. So we haven't gotten there yet. You're right, John. Um, but I think, you know, you, you, one step at a time, you earn home ice, you take advantage of that opportunity, which we did. Now we'll go back to work Monday with whoever we play against. All right. Thank you. Thanks.